What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are in our Las Vegas Raiders franchise. It is about to be week seven, going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, and I'm just going to keep it straight with you, all right? I'm not a person that likes to lie, all right? Just like when I say, if you leave a like and subscribe, you'll be happy forever. I promise. You'll, it's not a lie or anything. It's not a an over-promise at all. Uh, we're going to lose this game. There's no question about it. This is honestly the game where you maybe even see a bunch of Robbie St. Louis because the game is just over that quickly. Like, this Chiefs team has bullied us for years. And even though we're 5-1, and one, this is probably one of the worst starts, like, realistically, that we've had in a while. We really just don't look good outside of defense, which we just don't have the speed to keep up with the Chiefs for, simply put. I mean, there's no arguing that. I mean, if you've got money, you bet against us this week. I don't care what the odds are. I don't care if you get to bet 500 bucks and you only get 600 bucks back. Sell the house. Put it on this game. It's, there's just no point in us even playing. I, I on it. Like, you know, I'm not supposed to say it. And we're going to try. But we're like 40, 50 minutes away from being like, damn it. We knew it. <laughs> Simply put. Rivalry game. I mean, it really doesn't. This, this is just, unless they're going to give us plus 10 to speed and negative 10 for them. It's just like, I guess we're going to praise him. Why would I challenge him? Why would I talk crap? Fueling your opponent, especially when you suck, is not a good idea. I know we're leading the division. That will likely come to an end after this game. But here, you know what? We're still going to try. Because we've come close. Never won, per se. But we have come close, without a doubt. Let's take a look at the Players of the Week award. Oh, look at this. Aaron Rodgers, he's taking the league by storm. Uh, one sacks. Okay. I mean, that's kind of weird that they actually show that, right? Like, uh, why do they show that? It really doesn't even matter, to be honest. But um, let's take a look at the roster in case you are, you know, new to the series or, you know, you're somehow new on Twitch here, which I, I know, I'm not sure you would find the channel with it being franchise, you know. Twitch, discoverability, terrible. For Madden, really bad if you're not playing no damn ultimate team, which we obviously aren't here. Although, at times... The Chiefs feel like they're playing on ultimate team, not us, obviously, as you see this team. And there's some playmakers, and we have trended upwards at times, but then we revert back to our just inconsistent quarterbacking and inconsistent offensive ways. But I will say, the defense has been nuts. However, we did lose Mr. J.J. Watt for several uh, games now. I think it's like six, five or six. He's gonna, I think he's missing four total, but six-week injury. You knew it was going to happen. Hopefully, he comes back strong. Cleland's probably a little happy because he's actually played kind of poorly with J.J. Watt out there. Trayvon Mullen has been mossed a lot, but he's been in tight coverage. Same with Okuda, who actually had an insane game last week. Actually locked up Terry McLaurin all day. And yeah, this is a defense that has got to carry if we want to have any sort of chance to win these games, especially against the Chiefs, who, yay, we get to play week nine as well. So the Chiefs can build a lead against us as well. Yay. Jeff Gladney got a couple upgrades for the offensive lineman. Nothing major. And Jeff Gladney, we will take. We probably need to just go straight defensive, though, or for a zone because man coverage is, is definitely already really, really high, to be honest. And a speed upgrade for the speed demon. All right, makes sense. All right, let's take a look at this matchup. Of course, a, uh, these games, here's the thing. These games have been insane. They've been such high scoring close affairs for the majority of the last couple of seasons. And we're playing at noon. What are you, what are you doing? What are we doing? I would schedule this. I, I, I was going to think of something like funny and clever for like a prime time, but like, I, I guess... I guess primetime is just like 7.30 or something. <laughs> oh my god. But of course, let's see it. The Chiefs, we know who they are. They kind of know who we are. Because we, uh, we actually have a bit of an identity crisis on offense. That's to say the least. Uh, and uh, could this be the week where maybe Robbie sees the field? Just because there's going to be so much pressure on Trubisky in this one. He hasn't played so well enough that if he drops the ball in this one early, that he just, you know, stays out there. There has been some rumors about potential starting time here for Robbie. I don't know. It could be this week or maybe Trubisky kills it. He's done pretty well in high pressure situations, but... This is tough, dude. All right, we got what we wanted, and that is to kick the ball first. And we're actually going to get a field goal. Actually, we're not going to get a field goal because I, like, just choked the accuracy. 
I actually couldn't hit it straight down the line on a deep kick. Are you serious? Really? Okay. Uh, but of course, Patrick Mahomes, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions, 1,886 yards. That's that's great. That's that's really cool, dude. I I love it. For the 25 yard line, Diablo, to the outside. Oh my god. Well, it's not actually a run, even though you know they probably will get over four yards per carry. But it's not technically a run, even though it went to uh, Clyde edwards hilaire We need some pressure, dude. It's gonna it's gonna come down to these guys. Get up there, Mullen. Huge hit on Kelsey. A little surprised he was able to even hit that, but right now, I'm already thinking, how do you stop this attack? I, I honestly don't know. As they're just getting the ball out quick. And that's just a wide open Kelsey, but he takes the sack from the sack leader himself, Max Crosby, who I think now has seven on the year, and he does. Seven already. His goal is only five, which is... I mean, kind of, uh, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but a little surprising over the middle, and that will be short of a first down. I believe it'll be third and six, but really was hoping to get a pressure there and didn't, and now it's Diablo over the middle against freaking Travis Kelsey to the outside, and of course, Tyreek Hill holds on. Teague was in man coverage against Tyreek. I mean, we feel really good about this rookie, I'll be honest, but I don't think I feel that great about him, to be honest. Um, oh, oh, the rookie going down the middle of the field, going against what appears to be another wide receiver. I don't know what this man coverage alignment is, but another one, and he actually gets all up in that. Gotta love that. To the outside. Ooh, that was a strange one. I thought we were going to get that with Monty Rice. I couldn't really even tell who the target was there. Five wide again, dude. They just know they can get away with it. The cheesers, man. Cleveland. Oh, look at the Mahomes. Oh, Teague. I would probably go for this if I'm them. But Teague almost had a pick on Mahomes. I mean, I know everyone is just aiming to get interceptions against the guy, but like, you know, you I mean, you kind of have to just play for the the situation and that's a touchdown we thought we could get the free rush in there which we did but we over pursued and somebody fell down at his feet and missed so we of course took the great angle but a great cutback by Clyde Edwards Hilaire and use trips use your head I don't even care oh that's horrible Mr. Mitchell Trubisky and his season which has definitely Taking a little bit of a hit over the last few weeks, but not really all his fault, or really, honestly, half the time, his fault at all. Uh, but we're going to go right back to what has kind of gotten us these wins besides the defense, and that is, of course, the ground game uh, to the left side, and we get through there. Uh, I got to say, no, he's still going. I got to say, that line, oh, not Darren Waller, dude. How many more injuries can we take that are big names? Offensive line, or whoever was blocking there, really did not do well, but... We turned into a pretty big gainer, and we're going to go right back up the middle, and is that Kenyon Drake playing fullback? What is this? Still a nine-yard gain. Absolutely crushed it. Back-to-back -back plays now on the ground. And Darren Waller, we do not know the, the fate of yet, and I'm honestly a little worried. Just a little. With the drag from Lazard, second and one, this is your shot play opportunity. Frederick's probably not going to get my look. And they're going to play it a little bit too safe as Alan Lazard is going to get about eight on that. It's fair enough. Dislocated hip, which is that not the same exact injury Watt has, or what was his? Dislocated shoulder or something? Some sort of dislocation. Up the middle, we're going to cut it back. Jacobs is absolutely feeling it so far. Some decent blocks, but some great lanes, some great angles taken as well, as he's already three for 40. Uh, it's, you know, I never really think about the other side, but you think KC's like, oh, the damn Raiders, we can't stop their ground while we're trying to stop their pass attack. Play action. And there goes Fredericks. No, it's Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard playing out deep, out wide. It's a little surprising because, like, Waller's out, so Lazard obviously moves up. But isn't that normally a wide receiver's route? I can see him, you know, here that, you know, makes sense that he's, you know, the tight end spot. The outside Cobbs. Nope. Oh, they bumped each other, and that's a pretty good throw. Hardman short by one, I think, right? 
They're gonna give us a first and go, and honestly, I'm not really happy with that. I, I honestly would rather have the, the inches. <laughs> yeah, I would. And on the move, last second, and that is why I wanted to go. Drew Bisky, let him have it. That is why I wanted to go for the run. Somebody came up, and Trubisky misses throw by a mile, dude. Who are you throwing to, young man? And by young man, I mean old man. He's not even... It was like a no-look, wrong player pass. Huh? I mean, that's... That's just simply a bad throw. Like, there's, there's nothing else about it. There's, you know, it's not the pressure getting there. It's not people not getting open. That is just a simple bad throw to the wrong player. But when you have a wide open guy, I mean, there's just nothing else to say. And up the middle, we almost just kill our own guy with Teague there. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I we were still on the run, but it was such a chip shot throw that I just, I felt like we can get away with that, right? Oh, come on. And there goes that. That whole under four yards per carry thing is long gone already. How can you make it where I can't get the right call on defense? That's literally like game losing set wide open. Wide open. Bad throw, but he gets it down enough. Cleveland. Oh, my God. What is happening? I got I to gotta watch this. We got to take a look at the film. We got to look at the film. Okay, so whoever this is, is this Teague? Gladney just bites. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be in a purple. Where is he going? We have players just... What is this? Where are these guys going? Into the outside. You got to get out there, Merrick. And he misses. Touchdown, Chiefs. Personally. I want it all. I want it all! Get out there, Hardman! Let's go! Touchdown! Against number six. Who the hell is that? He, the reason why we got the touchdown there is because they have a, a white safety with a number 17. Like, the, that's all that is. Uh oh, screen. Damn it, you guys. We've killed it on the screen defense all year. And of course, when we play the Chiefs, we die. And then just there, I was like, oh yeah, Hardman, who's obviously not a Raider anymore. Teague comes out nicely. They still gain a few, but that's all right. Barely got out there, but I think we need to take those shots more. The play action looks to Hardman specifically can work. And Tyreek Hill's short. He's a yard short. We got to bring it all. Merrig, get up there. Fumble. Diablo's going to score. The Raiders are making plays. Just like that, when all hope was lost, we have ourselves a ball game. I'm like, eh, it's probably not worth watching. Inside, ah, uh, we got beat. And Abram, I mean, ah, oh, there we go. That's, yeah, he's, you know, they, they've been cheating all day. Cole not accepted that. To the outside. Abram, move up. Move up. What are we doing? That's still a thought. I missed. Huge hit. There has been an interesting one. Cleland. Oh, my God, Mahomes. You literally can't stop this guy. So, basically, you have to depend on someone. So, do you depend on the edge to get there? Or do you depend on uh, Cleland to push Mahomes to the boundary? And track record says you probably play the contain and then user, you know, you you push it up the middle. I don't know, dude. Cleland. Diablo. Nice. Teague with the grabbing of the legs. Diablo with the freaking high upside. Diablo with some great uh, turnover ability, though, the last few weeks. Really liking that. Third and one. Chance to get off the field. We have the blitz. We made the decision. And once again, we are backing up. All the time. First and 10 to the outside. We kind of left it. Mahomes is down for the sack. It's only a three-yard sack, but I like to see that we don't just let him get away when he's in trouble. About damn time. Teague playing the zone, backing up. No, 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 no. Good pile driver by Monty Rice. All right, this is, I mean, this is turning out obviously way better than it started, but in general, the time consumption. If we can get off the field here, this is a huge opportunity. Can't get out there, and Tyreek is killed, but I think he's down. Oh my god, what is happening? It's a minefield out here. People are getting popped up high. That is Casey's ball at the one-yard line, I believe. That is crazy, though, how that happened. Like, absolutely just a freaking warfare out here. Just players getting murdered. I mean, look at that hit. 
Kills him. Person going from the two. Teague runs up the middle and not in for the score. I would be challenging that hard if I was them. Oh, Muse selling back-to-back -back times now in the red zone. Had a chance, even though he was covering someone else, to get a piece of it. Touchdown, Casey. Jacobs to the outside. And Kenyon Drake, who I think is actually playing for an injured Alec Ingold right now, uh, has actually done a decent job at the position. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's see if Tyron Matthews reads the tight end. Tyron Matthews does. And that's not easy, and that's a really bad throw. Damn it, dude. There you go. Are you serious, Fredericks? I mean, there's so much time left anyways. I feel like you just go for this, right? Like, there's legitimately no reason not to go for this. Like, why wouldn't we? Please, tight end. Thank you, Ramsey. I, I just feel like they can get down the field in any sort of time. We're going to be down two possessions if we don't score uh, probably a touchdown on this drive, right? They're going to have the ball at halftime, I'm pretty sure, so... Gotta go for that. Like, who is this guy, and why do we have him? <laughs> Hardman. Let him a little bit higher than I would have liked, but... Nice little first down once again. Don't want to use, uh, you know, don't want to let too much of the clock stay around, so we're gonna just kind of chill a little bit here. I'm not too worried about the situation we find ourselves in. And that's a really good play. What a dive, though, by O'Daniel. Get a block from Jacobs inside, maybe? We had that. Tight end. Ooh. Got to give it to Ramsey. He's kind of balling out, though. Ooh, maybe that right foot. Show it, baby. Why is his foot? That's not a first down. Or, well, it's not a first down anyways. What is that? <laughs> oh, my lord. I don't trust the outs at all. I'd rather run the Texas. Hardman. Could have Lazar. There's a bunch of different players. I, why didn't I just take that? Thankfully, Cobbs is open there, because... Sold so hard trying to get Lazard. Lazard had him beat, but the guy recovered at a 10 out of 10 rate. And I do know the clock is running, but I kind of want to be nonchalant about it. So then they kind of, you know, they're like, well, what's happening here? Let's, let's, you know, play it safe. And here we got the screen set up. Can't really get out there. Good try by Jacobs. Now nah, we'll call a timeout. We're going to take that. Cobbs! Is that a late hit or is it a hold? If none of those things are against us, that is a tied game, and it looks like a late hit on Chris Jones. Personal foul is that. Does that go up against... Damn it, I thought it was going to, you know, apply to the kickoff, but it doesn't. However, we tie the game up against KC. We just got to back him up and likely go in a half tied up. So even though the Chiefs are absolute goons down the field, they've decided not to try to do anything before half. They had, a, you know, a couple of turnover issues and close calls. I get it. But you're the Chiefs. You got you to gotta take that chance. But, hey, they get the ball at half. You figure they actually can't be stopped, which we technically did stop them once before. They win just based on that fact. But, I don't know. I like our chances. I like our chances. Oh, wait. We get ball. Okay, I interesting, nice. Cooper, nice little cutback, doesn't really get a whole lot, but to the 27. Up the middle, and Jacobs, one to beat. Oh, no. All right, play action. Quick throw to Jacobs, it's going to be a lot of yards. Up the middle, nothing. Jacobs to the left, oh, here we go. Room to run. And that will be to the 42-yard line. Up the middle, second and eight from the 40. Jacobs again, fighting, but only going to get about two yet again. Third and six. We're a little bit behind here. And I know all about being behind, I'll tell you that. You go with slants. Get the play action, actually. We ran it a couple of times. And they're not going to fall for it this time, but... Hit that throw, and Trubisky just missed a naked... Hardman, and now we're going to be relying on Carlson with plenty of wind to actually take the lead here over the Chiefs for the time being. And that will be the case. We're up by three now. It wouldn't absolutely surprise me. Oh, Kuda, no. And he misses the tackle, and just like that, the Chiefs have done what they always do, and that is score a long touchdown. Oh, come on. 
somehow Tampa's just going to end up playing two really rough teams, play one tough team in the championship, and it's a 50-50. You just beat one team, and you're in the Super Bowl. Up the middle, we are struggling, but I just want to get the ground game going. I don't trust our throwing. Really bad performance left in them still on the year. We're going to throw that a floater to Jacobs, who gets a ton of room, gets a block, runs a man over, and it's a massive gain to the 37. Wow. Misdirection, and Jacobs gets killed by his own lineman. Not that it's his fault, but, you know, <laughs> it's unfortunate. That's all I can tell you. Jacobs on the screen gets chipped by the lineman. Jacobs is going to outrun everybody, which is not really in his uh, nature, but takes it to the 26-yard line as now Kenyon Drake's going to get a little bit more game time as uh, he has feeling, yeah, feeling a little bit healthier over the last few weeks. Kind of had a lingering issue. Really good cutback. Gains about five and a half, six on the play. Not really a deep slant, but I'm looking to probably throw that deep. And we're going to throw this away. Ooh, thank God I did too because he got absolutely PI'd last second and that would have led to an interception. I saw it happening before it happened. Where's my run? Thank you. Up the middle, Kenyon Drake. Oh my lord. How did he have a chance there? I'm going to go with a nice run to Kenyon. Almost outruns everyone for the score on the option handoff. Decibel up. Second and four up the middle. Uh oh, somebody comes in free, but Jacobs falls forward for a gain of one. Could be a read option time. And I don't want to run the read option with Robbie here because obviously you're kind of expecting it when you see him in the game. But Trubisky against Tyron for a potential score here. And Tyron Matthew doesn't see it coming and just freezes. Seen that from him a lot in the goal line, but that was amongst the worst I've ever seen. Nice hit. And can we get out there? Oh, we switched to the wrong guy. Teague with the help, but I think that's going to be a first down. And it is. It's okay. We're up by three against this Chiefs team that has given us actual nightmares over the years, to be honest. Diablo, in case that's to the left, we got to you know peel off a little bit. And that's over there, but... He kind of hesitated thinking maybe he would have blocked or went a little bit more shallow than that, but he actually just came gunning and out of the backfield there, which was pretty impressive. Uh oh, Kuda in man coverage against an in-the-zone guy, huh? Makes sense. Get up there, and there goes Max Crosby blowing that up for a loss of four. That's what I'm talking about, and I think that has given me the go-ahead to just bring the team. Cleland, get him! What? He, he just gave himself up! What the hell is happening? Unbelievable. First and ten, though. And the Sleezers are going to wait till the fourth. I hope they lose. And for more reasons than just the fact that that would mean we win. <laughs> Muse. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. That's actually not bad by us with Tanner dropping back far, 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 far on time. Uh, what's his name? Travis Kelsey. That is a tough one. You got to drop. Go. Damn it, Tanner. Hey, Tanner, you trying to get a flag? What are you doing? Jesus, could you not, dude? And we get locked up. Push it. Damn it, dude. Max Crosby. Cleland! Oh, my God. It's good enough, though. It's obviously going to be a first down, but it could have been so much worse. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. We got to get in there. Huge hit and missed it. And missed another one. Oh, my God. I get he's a superstar, but really? And speaking of superstars, Cleland Farrell's out. Cleland's gone. Free rush. Out there. Merrig with the clutch one-on-one -on -one tackle. And now Tooney's injured. Injuries across the board for both teams here. I will say that I have not seen the results of our main man, but we'll see. Maybe he's not out for that long, and that's why. Bring him up a little bit. I want to absolutely just spoil what defense we're in, but... He's in trouble. I swear to God, Okuda. There you go! The man gets up there, swats it. Cleland's all right. And the field goal attempt in this situation with our, you know, in the favor is not an easy one. 
can't get off the play, and with eight minutes left, the Chiefs will tie it up. All right, triple option. Trubisky just gonna run. Gets about five. Just kind of outran the whole play there. Second to five, dive play. Doesn't get help. Gets the light up on the superstar, but still gets hit sticks. And really doesn't gain a whole lot. And Trubisky can't get away. It's going to be a punt. Perfectly locked up in man coverage. Somehow, someway, the press absolutely smokes us every time. We can never beat anyone. And because of that, we're going to be freaking punting this thing. There goes Farrell still in the game or comes back into the game. Perfect timing by Chris Jones there. Oh, Okuda. Not awful. In the zone, Tyreek. Not awful, right? Not awful. Cleveland is out again. Diablo, we get caught up. Punched in the face. Teague is. Good job by Monty Rice to kind of stop that. And then Jaron Reed comes in. Once again, thank you, Jesus, that we have that kind of... Um, Ooh, get in there. Oh, oh, get out there. Oh, God. Thank God we have that kind of depth at the DT spot. Has been taking a bit of hits there at that position lately. Ain't gonna lie. Back up. No. Not Tyreek. And that's a touchdown, is it? Oh, that's a close call. Right foot was close. I mean, how much room do we have to give up? 10 yards of separation from the snap. Gets back there. And he's not in the right foot. He, the throw is too far. No touchdown. And there's a flag. I don't know what the flag is. It's probably on them, hopefully. Really? Holding on us on the very... Oh, my God. How do you hold right out the gate? It wasn't even, like, freaking kicked. Can I throw this thing? Yeah, I mean, we're just taking all day to get the ball off. And it was backwards, too. It was risky. Somehow we made a stop, but I don't feel like we're going to be extending this drive by much. He missed this throw earlier. There is a bit of pressure. We're just going to go for the possession. Good play, Hardman. Game of about 24. It has not come easy today. Kenyon Drake, maybe? Trubisky off. off. So the races had a chance to throw, but... Going to go out of bounds to the 39-yard line. Smart call. The left side. Oh, nice little chip. Switch hands, Jacobs. How long have you been a running back? Over 100 yards on the game. Not bad. But, speaking of, right up the middle. And we get a nice play. Jacobs says, sorry, Tyron. I know you're a great player, but you still small. Play action. Look, this play is so hit or miss. Can I get a block? Thank you. Hardman, potential touchdown number two. Not going to be an actual... And that's pass interference, simply put. Well, I don't know. He kind of got in his way, but he didn't really contact him per se. So I really wish we had an actual fullback out here. Alec Engel is just so sleepy. And Jacobs gets about three on that. It was a close call. You know, we looked like we were good, but the linemen started getting pushed back a little bit. And I was a little worried. Because I didn't even think about it. We can actually try to just go for the, the field goal win. I, I literally don't think we've beat the Chiefs in like three seasons. This would be the first win in ages. Up the middle, Jacobs. Jacobs gets kind of blocked by his own guy again. Got to give credit to these linemen for giving it their all and giving us some good blocks, but that is just another play where we could have been gone. But hey, once this is all said and done, maybe it was the best call because obviously we do get that, uh, you know, we do have that chance if we score here early that the Chiefs just score anyways right at the end. I mean, I think you just play for the field goal here. Even if they block it, whatever it may be. Jacobs is going to get the first down barely, and that's what we're aiming for. That's what we want. Why are they falling for... What do they think this is? A pass? Inside run. We're going to cut it back, and we're actually going to fall down early. And I that was actually such a smooth fall down that it actually seemed like the sink was off because I talked about it way before it happened. I can't believe how smooth that was. You would have thought they would have tried to pull us forward or something, but they didn't. Now, if they don't get the stop, they either lose or go to overtime, simply put. And Jacobs don't go in. Almost Todd Gurley the damn thing. It's crazy Neil at the one, but this is the right call with that Chiefs offense, without a doubt. It's a right call for sure. Looks pretty good to me. And for the first time, 
In Raiders franchise history, we have taken down the Kansas City Chiefs by a score of 34 to 31. I don't know. I, I like it was almost a blur what even happened. We had just the right amount of deep plays on the play action specifically, and the ground game was absolutely unstoppable. But I will say once again, even though we were, you know, primed to score a touchdown there anyways, the Chiefs had that. They had that again. Tyreek Hill, the ball was slightly overthrown and missed it in the back of the end zone. So instead of a third and seven bomb of a touchdown, it ended up being a punt, and we ended up taking it down the field and winning the game. Of course, we play the Chiefs again after the bye week, so I got to like our chances, right? We're hot. We know how to beat the Chiefs, and we're about to play them again. I don't know if they have to play a game in between. Probably, but that's all we have to do is focus on what we did right here and what we did wrong, have the whole bye week to think about it, and then, you know, play them, simply put. Patrick Mahomes technically outplayed Trubisky, but Trubisky did have a pretty good game. Jacobs, great game. Trubisky, not really great on the ground. A lot of kneels, so we're not going to blame him for, you know, the actual yards per carry per se. Uh, Clyde, Edwards, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, we didn't let, you know, limit under four, but if you consider he was three for 30 to start, it's still a really good performance. Tyreek Hill, only one touchdown. We limited him as much as we could. He had the chance... But he didn't get the feet down on that far throw. It's just slightly too overthrown. Clyde Edwards Hilaire with a ton of catches, of course. Hardman was great against his old team. Josh Jacobs, four for 61. Had himself a good game, too. Of course, we do have to find out the uh, verdict on Waller, but you gotta feel... Robbins had a sack? I don't remember that. You gotta, you gotta love the outcome here. That was an effort and a half. Do we get any XP upgrades? We actually came close to that yards thing. I mean, that's kind of the games that these Chiefs matchups are, but Divine Diablo with a chance to upgrade, probably block shedding yet again. We are just so iffy at the linebacker spot for, for getting to the running back and you get a block shed, he gives him to 70, gets a main coverage on top of it. Nothing really spectacular. Oh, uh, here it is. The injury. How long? Five weeks. These can we keep our joints intact, please? Please, boys. Can we keep our joints and whatnot together? Please. Thank you. And it, this guy's been on the freaking thing for ages. Not that I care. It's like freaking Cooper's brother, but I mean, that sucks. Uh, but of course, let's take a look at the rivalry game. Do we get any XP for this? Uh, we praised Tyreek and he did go off, but I gotta imagine if we, we would have taunted him. He catches more, more touchdowns than put. 2,500 XP, so I'm glad we looked at that XP because for the upgrades, because we're clearly not going to have any more right now, right? Yeah, clearly not. Why would we? Oh my god. Yeah, that's for another time. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's another. Yeah, no, 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 no. Anyways, that is going to be it for our episode of our Raiders franchise today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It was an insane one going up against the Chiefs. In this one, uh, you probably wouldn't have noticed, but... Uh, this is when the Raiders and Chargers game was like right at the climax. Like it was overtime and all that. And I had to pause mid game and all that. It was crazy. Uh, but of course, uh, there should be a second channel video on PK or plays tonight. I'm not hundred percent sure. I did say should be, but I, I think, <laughs> but, uh, if not, regardless, there'll be two uploads tomorrow, maybe a stream tonight. If not either a stream tonight or a stream tomorrow, it kind of comes down to, what I'm feeling, and then yeah, Saturday night should be a stream. But once again, the playoff games are on, so you just never know what's going to happen. But I would imagine we'd be fine for a 10 o'clock stream, right? Right around that time. I don't know. But either way, a great win. Got a bye week next week. Maybe get a trade in. And then week nine is yet again the Chiefs. So Chiefs back to freaking back. I would say you got to love it. But yeah, I mean, we did win. In not the greatest fashion, but we won. It was still impressive. We just kind of got lucky at times. But, yeah, it's still kind of iffy to play the Chiefs, even if we just won. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing to play them now right after a win than to, to wait, forget about how good they're, they are over the top, and then get beat. But, yeah, I don't know. They look like a different team without Hardman, and I like having Hardman on our team. So, really good offseason uh, acquisition, especially if it meant – taking him away from the Chiefs. I don't know if they had a chance to bring him back or not, but regardless, great performance, great start to the season, freaking 6-1 and one with the bye week. 
Try to get some of those injured players a little bit closer to returning. You know, we're adding some pretty big names to that week in and week out. Regardless, though, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me at Third Jumpy Care, second channel PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!